Where does the Lone Ranger take his trash? To da dum to da dum to da dum dum dum. Ha! That never gets old. This week at the movies. You find treasure. You find the man who killed your brother. Remember when he used to sit down in front of the TV and watch those shows about a masked man in his leather boots? But I'm not here to talk about your dad's secret stash of VCR tapes. They come for you. This week, The Lone Ranger opens in theaters, and I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, just look at those action scenes. We grew up with The Lone Ranger, and after you see the splashy big screen version, you might want to go out and get a new collection of The Masked Man's classic TV episodes from classic media. That's what I'm talking about. Clayton Moore and Jay Silverheels battling bad guys in the Old West. And if you buy the deluxe kit, you even get this authentic Lone Ranger membership card. Who was that masked man, Tonto? Ha! Never mind! It was me! Ha 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 ha! Hi-oh, Silver! Hooray! Here's a question for you. Who was the Lone Ranger's great nephew? I'll tell you at the end of the show. If you haven't already subscribed to the Movies of Grown Ups channel, what are you waiting for? Click the clapper now! Duncan, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think you are? A 6. I think you're a 3. If horseplay isn't your idea of a good time, check out the wonderful, warm-hearted, coming-of-age film, The Way, Way Back, also in theaters. Ooh, who's this in all his awkward glory? It's about a kid trying to figure out life during summer vacation, and he's surrounded by one of the best casts of the year. Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell, Amanda Peet, Tony Collette, Maya Rudolph, Allison Janney. Just go, just go. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, ladies. How you doing? <laughs> nice car. Thanks. Nice bike. Gnarly, dude. Drift is the story of how two brothers started the modern surfing craze back in the 1970s. Well, you didn't talk like this, dude, because they were from, like, Australia, dude. It's on video on demand now, and you can catch it again later on the big screen. I am so stoked. I didn't want to do it when I was 14, and I vowed I'd never do it now. But here I am. Hopefully I'll reach my half century next year and and I shall bow out. I suppose I have this ridiculous sense of loyalty to it, even though I hate it. Back in 1967, British director Paul Almond made Seven Up, a documentary about a bunch of kids growing up in the UK. <laughs> I don't want to answer those kind of questions. Every seven years since then, director Michael Apted has gone back and checked up on each of them to see how they're doing. The second movie was called 14 Up, and the next was called 21 Up. You get it? It's math. Well, now we're up to 56 up, and it's never too late to catch up. The whole series is available on DVD. Not only is the Up series the original reality show, it's still the best. Well, that's it for now. Oh, yeah, who was the Lone Ranger's great nephew? Well, on the old Lone Ranger series, follow me on this, the Lone Ranger had a nephew named Dan Reed. In a radio spin-off series, Dan Reed's son was a guy named Britt Reed, who became, wouldn't you know it, the Green Hornet. That's the buzz, anyway. If you love the movies, and I know you do, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. I love reading what you think about the current crop of movies for grown-ups. 